This is the third session in the series of statement of cash flows. In this session, I will explain how does statement of cash flows look for an actual company. It's time to understand actual statement of cash flows. I will show you cash flow statement of Reliance Industries from March 2021 annual report. Let's start with cash flow from operating activities. The first line always starts with net profit before tax. You will notice net profit before tax amount is carried over from income statement. Now, it's time to adjust profit before tax with various line items depending on cash entering or leaving the company. Please remember, the amount mentioned in bracket means cash leaving the company. Let's get into details of few line items. Starting with depreciation, amortization, and depletion expenses. If you recall from income statement, depreciation and amortization expenses are recorded evenly on income statement over the estimated life of assets. For example, if company buys machine worth 10 crore with estimated life of 10 years, company will pay upfront cash of 10 crore for buying machine. However, this expense will be recorded as 1 crore of depreciation expense each year until next 10 years on income statement. Since cost of machine was paid up front in past and cash did not leave the company. Depreciation and amortization expenses are added back to operating cash flow. Let's review next few line items. Remember from income statement. Other income refers to the revenue generated from sources other than company's core activities. This includes income from financial investments like dividend and interest. In short, this income is not related to core company operating activities. Hence, this income is subtracted from operating activities. You will notice later that this income is added back into investing activities. The last line item is finance cost. This refers to interest paid on company debt. This expense is actually related to financing activities. Remember, we started with profit before tax. Profit before tax is calculated by subtracting expenses related to finance cost. As interest expenses are related to financing activities, it is added back to the operating cash flow. However, you will notice that this finance cost is deducted later from financing activities. Next few lines are related to changes in working capital. Cash flow from operations is adjusted appropriately due to changes in account receivables, inventory, account payables and so on. If you notice cash generated from operation is significantly reduced due to high trade payables. This means company has shown healthy profit before tax on income statement. However, total cash form operation has significantly reduced. Finally, you deduct taxes from cash generated from operation. It will give you net cash flow from operating activities. It's time to move on to next item. Cash flow from investing activities. It refers to the activities related to investing to seek benefit at later stage. I will first review these highlighted line items. This refers to investment in assets like property, plant, equipment, machinery and so on. This kind of investments will move cash out and reduce company's overall cash position. It also includes cash entering company due to disposal of old assets like property, plant and equipments. If you remember, these expenses are called as capital expenditure or capex. You can calculate free cash flow as net cash flow from operating activities minus capital expenditure. Let's review other line items related to investing activities. First line item indicates investment in other businesses. This refers to the cash moving out due to investment or acquisition of other businesses. Please remember company can do acquisition by paying cash or issuing stocks as well. When acquisition is done using stocks, this will show up on financing activities instead of investing. You can notice next few lines are related to investment in financial assets like fixed deposit, 
mutual funds and equity shares of other companies. It also includes cash entering the company due to sale of financial investments. I hope you understand how investing activities is recorded on statement of cash flows. Let's review last section of cash flow statement. Cash flows from financing activities. Let's start with first three line items. The first two lines are related to cash received from public in exchange of equity shares. The third line shows company has issued new shares to the public through a process called as right issue. It represents Reliance has issued new equity shares in exchange of capital from public. This is shown as cash entering the company due to financing activities. Next few lines are related to company long-term debt and lease liabilities. When company issues new debt, it will increase cash position. On the other hand, when company chose to pay out debt, it will reduce cash. You can notice Reliance has heavily paid out debt during 2021. This is resulting into overall negative cash flow from financing activities. The next line is dividend paid. When company has extra cash, it pays dividend to shareholders which will reduce company's cash. The last line is interest paid. It refers to the financing cost that is interest paid on debt. Remember, finance cost was added back in operating cash flows. However, finance cost is shown as cash moving out of the company and cash flow from financing activities. It's time to summarize cash flow from operating, investing, and financing activities. You can notice, company consumed more cash for current and previous financial year than it's actually generated. This is indicated by negative sign under total cash flows. Negative cash flow is not necessarily a sign of trouble. However, you should ensure business has enough money to cover operating expenses in short term. At the end of cash flow statement, you will find details related to cash and cash equivalents. Please note this amount. This indicates company's cash balance as of previous year. Now note these amounts. The first line indicate net cash flow for the current year. This is the sum of cash flow from operating, investing and financing activities. The net cash is carried over from statement of cash flow appropriately. The second line is previous year's cash balance. Now, you need to subtract net cash flow amount from previous year's balance. This will give you cash and cash equivalents for the current year. You will notice same amount is carried over to balance sheet as current assets. You can open balance sheet and review line item called cash and cash equivalents. You should see the same amount listed on balance sheet as cash and cash equivalents. This represents company total cash position. Please remember this is liquid assets of the company. I hope you developed good understanding of cash flow statement now. Thank you.